and welcome back to another episode of The Weird Show. Today, we are reviewing the B&M exclusive for Doctor and TARDIS set. Oh, it's very sexy indeed. Now, before I start off the video, as you sort of uh, seen before the intro, I took a little bit of a jab at scalpers on eBay, as I like to do. I had a stab at them the other day as well. Oh my God, things are getting mad. Look, whenever these sets were first announced, I was so happy. I was like, oh my god, we're going to... No, even though technically I have the TARDIS, but, you know, it's just a repaint with a bit of weathering on it. It was nice that we were going to get that TARDIS mould again. Because so many people were ripping that out of the ass out of it with the Fourth Doctor set. And it was so difficult to get. It was nice that people were going to get a chance again. But a lot of people were looking forward to it. I think the way... The last week or so has been handled to put it into a word i would say to describe it in one word i would say shit show it has been a complete and utter shit show everything from flipping people walking in and but like from the very little stores that had any people walking in buying them all and then putting them up in ebay at like loads of money and then other stories of b&m stuff like flicking on to what's going on and how much they're going for so they're keeping them for themselves the fact is that i'm literally just back from a free hour trip all around my local b&m stores to try and get one of these sets for other people and um, i thought i'd be nice and try and get other people but no nowhere bloody has them but it's thank you to my good friend gary over at mooncrest models uh for sending me over this one so that was very nice. If it wasn't for him, I still wouldn't have this now. Simple as that. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna I could rant on all bloody day, you know me. But anyways, let's get stuck into the box. There's the back, there's the side, and there's a nice big window at the front. I don't give a damn about the box. You don't give a damn about the box. We wanna see what's in the thing. Yeah! Open you! Would you just open for me? There we go. Oh dear. Now, I actually got this yesterday. And I, this is the first time I've opened it. So, this is going to be interesting. As I said, I was so excited about this at first. But with everything that's went on the last week, a lot of the enjoyment, to be honest, a lot of the enjoyment has been taken out of it for me. But anyways, let's get into... If I can get the... Why won't you come out of your box, you prick? And I'm just wasting time now because I can't get it out of the feckin' box. There we go. Right. I don't care. Oh my god, there's too much fucking tape. Oh my, I swear to fuck if I, fucking Jesus, there we go, right, anyways, let's start off the review by talking about, that's a bad noise, anyways, I, uh, I, you can just tell I don't give a shit anymore, here is the gorgeous little third doctor you get with a set, Pretty much nothing new here, just a straight up repaint. And as far as I'm aware for this here cravat, it's wrong for this So I think. Don't get, like, I might be completely wrong. But yeah, it's wrong. Uh, yeah, I, I, it's just another repaint from the same figure we've already had loads. As much as I love the third Doctor. Give us something new, for freak's sake. Oh my god. This isn't... Oh, yippee! Look, there's screws in the box. Oh, for flipsy, I have to go and get a bloody screwdriver. Anyways, at last, after a lot of screwing, here it is. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the blue. Now, what I have noticed, there seems to be two different variants of this. Either they come like this, sort of quite with a nice light weathering, or, on the other hand, an incredibly weathered TARDIS altogether. So, obviously, something in the factory. Some are getting a heavier dose of weathering than others. But, yeah, the 
it looks pretty damn cool, but it doesn't really matter what one you pick up. Personally, I'm glad I sort of got the more cleaner version because a lot more of that lighter blue comes through, which I'm very, very happy about. So, what really is the difference between this and this? Well, as you can see, they are both exactly the same mold, even right down to the little bits of sort of paint, whatever. Everything is exactly the same. The only difference is with this one, you don't get any electronics at all. <laughs> you know, different paint job and you don't get electronics, but it's okay, you know. Um, it wouldn't be so embarrassing if it didn't have electronics if they did, still didn't have the fucking speaker flipping grill and the flipping battery compartment right there. Like, how lazy can you be? I'm sorry, character. You, you, what are you doing, you flipping sh... Anyway, I'm not... I'm trying to remain calm. It's been a long week. You know, B&M has stressed me out. You know, I'm just trying to, you know... Now, as it does advertise on the box... Now, this is their feature, and I just find it a little bit comedic, to be quite honest. It does advertise with opening doors. If that doesn't get your dick hard, I don't know what will. So, yeah, as you can see, the door's open. Oh, my God. That I think that might be the most exciting thing I have ever seen on a TARDIS toy. Wow. Wow, my. Oh, wow, wee. Now, if you want to close the doors again, you just pull this one over with your little finger. And as you can see, as usual, there's a little square button right there. And that pulls the other door closed for you. Um, other little subtle differences. The top lamp on this has now been painted black. And the bumper at the bottom is also black. And obviously, it's all had a nice lighter shade of blue. With a nice, healthy bit of weathering, I would say. So, what do you guys think? Well... I'll give you my final thoughts on it. You can let me know what you think. Would I recommend this set? Of course I would. Of course I bloody would. The fact is that this here is so damn difficult to buy now. You know, well, to be fair, so is this. And it's only been out a feckin' less than a week. Um, if you can get one of these, I would definitely recommend it. Just for the reason being, if you didn't get the chance to buy the fourth Doctor's TARDIS before, you know... You can always see if you can get one or two of these, maybe paint one up to look like the fourth Doctor's TARDIS because it really is the exact same mould. Speaker, grill and everything, and, you know. Wow. Wow, wow. Uh, but yeah, I might seem I'm pissed off, don't get me wrong. I am so bloody happy about this TARDIS and I'm going to be so happy to have it in my collection because uh, there is a bit of a gap between my first Doctor's TARDIS and fourth Doctor's TARDIS, so this will fill that gap perfectly. It's just... I'm more pissed off about the way everything was handled. Like, this whole thing has not been handled very well whatsoever, in my opinion. But that, and yet again, even just down to stupid... Like, to be fair, if you are going to display it on a shelf like that, you know, you're not going to see the speaker grills. You're not going to see the battery pack casing. But the fact is, the character options just went, nah, fuck it. Even the fact, why did it... Like, even they could have just charged... Instead of charging retail... These retail at 19 by the way... Instead of just charging that, charge twenty four ninety nine or something and just give us the electronics in it. You know, it's a nice little feature, you know. But anyways, you know, it's just character options being character options. They do things I really don't understand sometimes. But yeah, it's a gorgeous looking TARDIS. Apart from the sort of down roof, like they never really did fix up the mould, did they? Like... Not even joking, like, if you put a level on that, like, you know, they never, it's the same on the fourth Doctor's one as well, you know, like, for, I don't, the, uh, the roof should be fucking flat, not, you know, it looks like someone's just got, wet, got the lamp and pressed down on it, it's so dumb, but, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this review, as much as I might seem like I'm annoyed, I am incredibly happy to add this to my collection. I am incredibly happy. And you know what? It's going to sit very nicely next to this. And yeah, go around, find time and space and all that, you know. So yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. And let me know, have you got one? If you've got one, what do you think? And if you haven't got one, how are you doing with trying to find one in B&M at the minute? As I said, I'm just back from a three-hour trip. 
nothing absolutely nothing whatsoever but yeah thanks so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it see you again soon bye bye and today we are reviewing this the b&m fuck my life oh, i look tired ow